Hi folks, welcome to Boundary Bay on Casba Lake. I'm Larry Ladowski, I'm fishing with Clark Jenny along with Scott Q, our guide. And we are here today, and the reason why they call it Boundary Bay is that we're gonna be fishing the border of none of it, Northwest Territories, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. We're fishing all four waters here, and we're fishing for giant pike and hopefully trophy lake trout. Stick with us, we're gonna have some fun and catch some big fish. You definitely want some quality equipment. You wanna make sure your drags are working. I mean, that's a smooth drag right there. You let them play it out. I think it's about, I don't know, maybe just an ounce bigger than Larry's. Oh man, this guy's got muscle. Yep. That's a nice fish. About tired out. Trying to get that one out? Oh, look at that. Bat belly on him, nice. Yep. Yep. It's caught right in that top lip there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Easy release, huh? Be squeezing. Just get a tape on them there. 37? 37. 37. Okay. 37. Well, a fat 37. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful fish. We'll let them roll. <laughs> Good start. Very nice. It was. That was a nice one. Ugh. Give me a splash. Whoa. How was it? Oh, nice, nice. He tied himself up. Oh, you changed spinners too? Yeah. Look. Oh, chartreuse. Whoa, God! There it is. Work it, you're gonna get it. Gonna oh, yeah, you're gonna work it. Oh, work man. It. Keep going, keep going. Work it, drop it, drop it. There it is. Yeah! Yeah! Nice! <laughs> Woo! So, Scotty, what's the, uh, what's the reason behind coming down here this bay? There's been a couple guides down this year. Whoa! Oh. Quick release. Uh, and they've pulled numerous trophies out of here, 40 plus. Uh, so we've uh, taken a little bit of a drive to get down here, but uh, the action's good right now, and hopefully we'll pull something over 40. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a monster. Look at him right there. Just tugging on that one. Surface. Oh yeah. The submarine has surfaced. Look at the back on that guy. Yep. Yep. Holy wow. man. Good drags are very important. This is the new. Revo MGX I'm using. Yeah, baby! That's what we came for. Yep, that's right. Look wow. at the size of that baby. Look at that. Oh, yeah! Woo! Okay. Is it looking all right? Yeah, beautiful. That's the Northwest Territories is all about, folks. It is 41 and a half. Nice. Okay. Woo! I'll be right back. Oh, sweetheart. You beautiful. Whoa, wow, that's, that's a lot of power. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> double. Oh, 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 double header. <laughs> Let's get the cousins family. together. <laughs> Look at how thick he is across the back again. Yeah. These are beautiful looking pike down here. Holy Hannah. Wow. <laughs> he is thick and heavy. Oh, look at that. Woo. Beautiful. And you're talking, I mean, yeah, you come up for the fishing, but this is remoteness. We are approximately 500 miles north of any road, but you're not roughing it. Casba has some terrific accommodations, comfortable beds, hot running water, their beautiful cabins. Their lodge is terrific. They serve five-star first-class meals in their lodge. They've got game rooms. You could do anything you want up here in addition to fish. It's an excellent place. You got to come up and try it. God, they're decent fish down here. Tail flap. I don't think I got her. No problem. Look at the hook he's got going on there. Ah, there he goes. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the next one on your line is a lake trout. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the head on that. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah. My hand can barely get around him. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's another lure on that, isn't there? Nice fish. Oh, nope. It came out the gill. 
Yep. Wow. Kind of like right out. We it wasn't even hooked. Wow. <laughs> there. There you go. There you go. It had the, the leader. leader's mouth. That's the it. The bait was, was out in his mouth. That's the only way we got that fish. 38. 38. A thick 38. Wow. Let's That's let her go. There he goes. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dip the rod tip down when take a dive underneath the boat. Seven foot rod, medium heavy, and right into the net. Yeah. That is. Have you got him? Yep, got him. Look at that. Look at the red in the tail. They get that when they fight, don't they? That's right, yeah. Again, about 41 and a half. You know, catching giant pike is one of my passions, and if you want to catch trophy pike, visit casba.com or call the number below. I'm Larry Ladowski, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back, and we'll catch you later. When I think of Canada and the Northwest Territories, I think big fish and lots of them. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today I'm joined by Clark Jenny of Casba Lake Lodge along with our guide, Scotty Q, and we are on the hunt for giant pike today. Let's go fishing. Come join us. Oh, oh look at the head on that head. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a big, that's thick that's across the back. Pretty. Woo! Woo when you get a a presentation like this and you start throwing spoons or, or some quicker paced lures and they start following, you just follow it up with a little slower presentation. Fish looks good, you don't look particularly great. <laughs> Sibyl lure, it's a jointed lure. It almost rises up and it floats in the water, just a single hook on top and it just took it and inhaled it. Nice little bait. It's a little slower presentation, you don't have to move it as fast through the water. It's a good follow up bait. Come here, sweetheart. It inhaled. You changed to a plastic lure? Yeah, I put, I put a plastic on. <laughs> <laughs> Big mouth. Catch the lake trout right in with the pike. Without a spinner. I just said the things we do for fish, eh? <laughs> Taking me around the boat for a boat ride. The whole treble hook is gone. Gone. Whoa. That is thick. A thick one. There it is. Right there. Work it, work it, work it. Right there. Figure eight them. That's it. Oh. Right there. Big. Don't circle him. Like, oh, you got him. Yeah. <laughs> We got double. Figure eight is right there. Just kept going at it. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. Right next to the boat again. Again. Nice work, Clark. So, Scotty, what's your best guess as to why these pike are feeding in here? Well, the theory is that uh, basically the pike roam the lake feeding on bait fish during the day, and then in the evening they'll move in. Uh, the bays are warmer, so uh, their metabolism's faster, so they can digest their food quickly. Ooh. Nice one. Yeah, this is a nice one. You need the net? Um, it's probably hand problem. Nice. I think it's finally realizing that it's hooked. Wow. Look at the head on that thing. That's what we came for. Yep, that's right. right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 
Clark, tell me a little bit about Casbah Lake Lodge. 70% of our customers are repeat customers. And the reason they came up for the first time was the lure of big fish. The reason they come back is the overall experience that's available at CASPA. We'd like you to come up and experience that CASPA style. The journey begins with an overnight stay in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Then it's over to the airport. Where you board a 50 passenger jet that takes you a two and a half hour flight directly into the lodge. Once you arrive at the lodge, you enjoy a welcome breakfast from Casbah Lake Lodge. While the staff unloads the plane and takes your luggage directly to your pre-assigned cabin. Unpack your gear, get your tackle ready, and then a full day on the water. We got him! Nice. Oh. <laughs> Yep, beautiful. Thank you, Scotty. We were close to the lodge, so we decided to come back to the lodge to have shore lunch here, but you can have it out on the water as well. They'll cook their, your fish right when you after you catch it. It's fresh pike, fresh lake trout cooked any way you like it. And accommodations like this, it truly is amazing. We're right now sitting in the Casbah Main Lodge. They also have a dining room attached to it, as well as a game room where you could play shuffleboard, ping pong, you name it. It's spectacular. This. Something this amazing, this far up north, is truly spectacular to see. Well, folks, unfortunately, we can't show you all the fish that we caught, but we showed you a good portion of it. We're going to keep fishing. You stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors. I'm Larry Ladowski, and if you want more information on Casbah Lake Lodge, go to casbah.com or call the number below. We'll catch you later. Hi, and welcome to the Northwest Territories, Casba Lake Lodge. We are remote, folks, today. Casba is about 450 miles north of any paved road. They specialize in trophy lake trout, giant northern pike, and acrobatic arctic grayling. We're going to head out on the water, see what Casba has to offer. I'm here joined by Clark Jenny, along with our guide, Scott Q. You guys ready for a day on the lake? And they fight. Look at that. They're very acrobatic, as I said. You gonna net it or? Yeah, I'll net it. Yeah. Okay. It's a very cool fish. There and we they go. fight. They really fight. But they're a very delicate fish, right, Scott? They are very delicate. That's beautiful. And the sun hits it and they just shine those colors. Very cool. Wow. There's a big one. Beautiful. And Scott, these one. don't get very big, do they? No, they don't. Uh, I think the world record stands at about five and a half pounds. So when you get a grayling, you know, that's a pound and a half, two pounds, that's a... I think your seagull wants it. <laughs> it's an incredible fish. Beautiful. Thanks, Scotty. No problem. Uh, about a two pounder? Yeah, I'd say a pound and three quarters, probably somewhere in there. Casba is also home to the Kazan River, which is the number one river in the world, I think, for, for trophy grayling catching. They catch up to three, four, and even five pound fish up there. Got them. Yep. You just use ultralight equipment, and it makes it a lot of fun. Just like trout fishing in a trout stream. But they're one of the few places in the country that have Arctic grayling still, up in the Northwest Territories. Let's see if I can hand land this one. Come here, baby. And that is the first species of the triple crown of Casbah. There you go. Why don't we move to the second species, which is trophy pike. Part of being in the Northwest Territories is just the elements and the amazing sights that you see as far as nature goes. We got a fog rolling in that is so cool looking. We had bluebird skies and now all of a sudden we got this fog coming in. As a matter of fact, last night we saw just a spectacular northern light show. It was right, real early too, right after sunset. So it was really beautiful. Swimming to the boat. <laughs> oh, looks nice. 
Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's unhooked himself. He hooked himself back in the back. Whoa. Nice work. I love that. This is, a, this is my favorite way to fish. You want big pike? Come on up to Kansas. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got some ice cream. <laughs> oh, yes. He doesn't like you. <laughs> no. Whoa. Oh, yes. Beautiful. That's all right, folks. I think we found the second species. Why don't we try heading for lake trout? Ooh. Right back to the bottom. Come on, Clark Jenny. Staying down. Staying, staying down, sounding. It's a big one. It's a monster. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's nice. Look at beautiful, that. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, baby. Woo! Orange crush. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he it will go 31 pounds. Nice job, Perfect. Clark. Perfect. And this is what Casba is all about. <laughs> Clean living. Clean living. Ready? Ready? Say Casba. One, two, three. Casba. Yeah. yeah. Nice shot. Ooh, nice smack in the face there. <sighs> Woo! Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that yeah. tail? Did you see that tail hit you in the face? <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, Clark, that was a great fish. Folks, after a day of pike fishing and trophy lake trout fishing, there's only one thing to do, and that's head back to the lodge for a hot chower and a gourmet five-star Casba meal. Well, by the looks of the trophy board, we're not the only ones that had a great day on the lake. I want to thank Clark Jenny, Scott Q, our guide, as well as the rest of the Casba staff for making our stay here so much more enjoyable. If you want to book a trip here, just go on to casba.com or call the number below and book your own paradise vacation. I'm Larry Ladowski, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back. We'll catch you later.